This HeadFi TV News Flash is brought to you by CanJam at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. Go to canjam.org to find out more about one of the top high-end headphone audio shows in the world. Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org with a HeadFi TV News Flash. We've got another new product launch scoop for you today. As we've discussed before, one of the most popular DIY projects on HeadFi.org is the modification of the Fostex T50RP. Now, one of the reasons the Fostex T50RP is so wildly popular to modify is because, number one, it's affordable, usually around $100, so if you screw it up a little bit, you're not going to put too much at risk. But even more importantly, the driver, the planar magnetic driver within the Fostex T50RP isn't even fully close to being uh, exploited entirely by the Fostex T50RP in its stock form. So the modifiers have been able to extract so much more performance out of that driver, and it's kind of a race to see who can do it the best. Uh, and what's cool is they share their knowledge about it. Now, from that frenzy of modifying the Fostex T50RP has come a small cottage industry of individuals and businesses who essentially will either modify for a fee your Fostex T50RP for you, or they'll sell you a completed modified Fostex T50RP. Now, most popular among them is easily the Mad Dog by Mr. Speakers. The Mad Dog is an immensely popular headphone model in the HeadFi community, and I think there are a couple key reasons why. First of all, a lot of people like me, we want the benefits of a modified T50RP, but we don't want to DIY it ourselves. There are people like me who, when we touch a soldering iron to something, we don't make it better, we break it. People like me, then, we don't want to have to modify it, we just want to buy the modded product. Now, I want to take a moment now to talk about Dan Clark from Mr. Speakers. He's the founder of Mr. Speakers. He isn't just a businessman. He is a diehard Fostex T50RP modder. And as a result, the Mad Dog has been iterated. It's been improved several times. The cool thing, though, is he's made the upgrades available to all previous customers for a very modest fee. And I think that's a very cool thing to do. Now, we're currently at version 3.2, and I think version 3.2 will probably be the current version for a while. I think it's going to be a, a pretty stable version. And the reason is, in conversations with Dan, he seems to suggest to me that, that perhaps he's approached or even reached the limit of what's possible uh, in terms of modifying the existing Fostex T50RP enclosure. So I think this will be a pretty stable upgrade, version 3.2. Now, speaking of this version, Version 3.2, in my opinion, and this is the other reason I think it's just immensely popular in the HeadFi community, is it's one of the best fully closed headphones under $500, maybe even under $1,000. There are some good, really good, semi-closed options, but as far as fully closed headphones go, it's kind of slim pickings. So if you want a reference-type sound signature under $500 in a fully closed headphone, this is one of your best choices, in my opinion. And even under 1000 the pickings are still pretty slim, still one of your best choices. And that's another reason I think the Mad Dog is so immensely popular in the HeadFi community. The Mad Dog, however, is not the reason we're doing this Newsflash HeadFi TV episode. But to get to what we want to talk about, we had to cover the Mad Dog to some degree. No, what we really want to talk about is this headphone right here. This is a prototype of a new flagship headphone from Mr. Speakers called the Alpha Dog. Now, I want to be clear about something real quick first, that this isn't what the final version of the Alpha Dog will look like. In terms of size and shape, yes. But in terms of finish, no. Obviously, if you buy a production version, you'll have matching ear cups. I think Dan was just being funny when he sent this one with the red and white ear cups. Um, and then this matte finish will be glossy because what they're using is an automotive grade paint with a clear coat finish on the production versions. And you're probably looking at some photos now of a prototype that's closer to production finish. There'll also be a slightly different pad mounting mechanism, actually quite a different pad mounting mechanism, using the same alpha pads that are used with the Mad Dogs, but with a much cleaner look uh, and a tool-free installation um, that actually might make installation easy. They're calling it twist to mount, pad mounting. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, that in the final version. Now the version I have here, this prototype is tuned to production spec acoustics. So the sound I'm getting from this is what I can expect when I get my production version Alpha Dog. Again, it's going to be announced August 9, 2013, and it'll be available somewhere uh, toward the end of September. I want to get in a little more detail now about the cups on the Alpha Dog that Mr. Speakers is calling Super Cups. Um, first of all, I believe this is the first 3D printed headphone ever in production. Yes, these cups are 3D printed. And one of the reasons Mr. Speakers went with 3D printing was to accomplish some of the internal design details that he needed to achieve what he considered 
the ideal cup for the Fostex T50RP planar magnetic driver. It has a double wall construction with the internal lattice work and that allows for better isolation because you have that airspace between the internal and outer wall, greater rigidity with the internal lattice and yet still keeping it lightweight. I'm going to show you a picture now that shows a partially printed Alpha Dog cup. They actually stopped the printing of this cup so that you could see the internal lattice work and get a better idea of the double wall construction of the cup. Now you're probably noticing something else. There's a set screw in the cup. Now that set screw is actually to adjust the base on the Alpha Dog. Yes, you can adjust the base up or down with those set screws. There's instructions on how to do it when you get your headphone and it'll even tell you how to get it back to factory spec for each headphone that they ship, for each Alpha Dog that they ship. I want to be clear about something though. In my discussions with Mr. Speakers, I'm getting the impression it's intended not to be a tone control that you adjust constantly, but really something that you do to tune the headphone to your taste. It's shipped with a more neutral sound signature. I'm going to get to the sound signature shortly, but it's shipped with a more neutral sound signature. Um, and if you're wanting a little more bass, you can add it. If you want to subtract it, you can subtract it. And that's what it's for, more of a set and forget thing to get the headphone where you want it. I guess if you're the more adventurous tweaking type, you can adjust it to your heart's content and as frequently as you want. But again, I'm not getting the impression from Mr. Speakers that was the intent of the set screw. Now, let's get to the sound. As far as sound quality goes, both use the Fostex T50RP driver, so that much we've established. But here's what I'll say. They don't sound like they use the same driver to me. I love the Mad Dog. At 300 bucks, it's hard to find a headphone, a fully closed headphone, certainly. I already said this, that, that I could recommend more. But this just sounds like a completely different headphone. They don't sound like they're in the same family. They don't sound like they use the same driver. This is a truly reference grade headphone, really almost at any price. Um, it has a very neutral presentation. Um, to me, it sounds like a flat frequency response or the, what I would perceive as a flat frequency response. It's also hyper fast. Uh, the bass is flat to about minus 3 dB at 12 hertz. Um, this has what I perceive to be, uh, the Mad Dog has what I perceive to be uh, a slightly boosted bass, but very well, very well executed boost, but still boosted. Um, this has a more warm sound. The treble is good on a Mad Dog, but the, the, the treble on the Alpha Dog is, to me, it sounds hyper extended, very sparkly, very detailed, very fast. Frankly, the Alpha Dog sounds super fast from bottom to top. Now, the most amazing thing about the Alpha Dog to me is not just how it presents all that detail, it's how it does it and sounds like an open headphone, even though it's a closed headphone. If you were to put this on my head in a, in a, in a silent room with my eyes closed, I'd never heard it before, you put it on my head, I would have guessed I was listening to an open circumoral or around the ear headphone. Because that's how the sound stage sounds on this. It's not quite as big and airy as an HD 800, but really not much is. But I would guess open headphone. It sounds like an open headphone and it's closed. So I love that about it. This is a, a lot better than the Mad Dog. And remember, I love the Mad Dog. <laughs> so this is a big deal. And I think this is going to be an immensely popular, well-reviewed headphone. Um, and I think it'll be one of the most popular headphones, uh, closed full-size headphones. Again, I still think the Pickens are slim and closed, fully closed full-size headphones. And this is just a gem. And it's going to be a reference for a lot of people. So again, the frequency response, the tonal balance of the Alpha Dog is definitely more on the neutral side. Fast very fast for a fully closed headphone. Uh, again, doesn't sound like a closed headphone. Now, we mentioned that set screw in each earpiece. The effect of the bass control on the set screws is limited pretty much only to frequencies under 150 hertz, which I, I think is a very good thing. You don't want to affect the mids when you're adjusting the bass. So that's the very nice thing about this. If you get it, but it's the bass that's the deciding factor for you. Like, I love everything about it, but I want more bass you can dial that in. I love everything about it, but I want a little less. You can dial it down and make it hopefully something that you find ideal. Now, here's what I'm going to say. I'm not adjusting it. I love the way it's voiced right now as is, and I recommend you try it, of course, which you're going to try because it's shipped that way in default mode for a while before you start tweaking it. But if you already know you like stronger bass, dial it in as needed. Again, there will be instructions with the Alpha Dog to tell you how to get it back to factory tuning. 
So uh, yeah, this is a phenomenal closed headphone. Price is gonna be $599.99. Consistent with their upgrade policy with the Mad Dog, if you're a Mad Dog owner, you'll be able to upgrade to the Alpha Dog by paying, I believe it's the, 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 the difference in price between the retail price of your Mad Dog and the retail price, $599.99, of the Alpha Dog. So paying that difference will get you the Alpha Dog. You have to turn in your, your Mad Dog, of course, um, and then they'll modify that into the Alpha Dog. So I think that's an amazing thing to do to make that available, that upgrade program for existing customers. Again, it's consistent with what they've done with the Mad Dog and the version upgrades, uh, but now you can take a Mad Dog and upgrade it to an Alpha Dog, and I think that's very cool. Oh, as far as amplification goes, I should mention this. So I have used the Shit Mjolnir, the Shit Audio Mjolnir, and the Hi-Fi Man EF6, and both have driven this very well. Um, uh, I have a pretty limited cable selection right now for the prototype, so I haven't tried a whole bunch of other amps. I've been pretty much limiting it to the 4-pin XLR that it shipped with. And I, oh, I want to mention that. So for $599.99, uh, it comes with either a quarter-inch single-ended cable or a single four-pin balanced XLR cable. Um, so it's one or the other. And then there will be other options when it finally comes out, uh, other cable and connectivity options. But that's what it ships with, one or the other of those. So I've been using it mostly with the Shit Mjolnir or, again, the hi fi EF6, and it drives it beautifully. Can you run it right out of an iPhone? Um, just like with the Mad Dog, um, you could. So you'll get sound, you'll get music, but it, you're not going to exploit uh, uh, the, 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 the Mad Dog or the Alpha Dog fully. When you plug it into a, an amp with more current drive, oh my gosh, yeah, these things are just phenomenal. And that's what you want. It fills in the bass. Um, but yet again, it's still a neutral presentation, but the slam is still good. This is right now my reference fully closed headphone under a thousand bucks, bar none. Um, I can't think of one at all that I would pick over this. It's actually one of my favorites, closed or open. It's that good. Um, anyways, it'll be announced again, August 9th, Friday, 2013. We got the jump. You saw it here first on HeadFi TV. It's the Alpha Dog by Mr. Speakers. I can't wait uh, uh, for this thing to come out. I already got my order, and that's one advantage to getting the scoop. I also probably have the very first order. So uh, I can't wait for mine. Look for the announcement. Look for more details when Mr. Speaker posts this on HeadFi and on their website. Thanks for watching HeadFi TV. You saw the Alpha Dog here first.